Uh, my name is Andrew Loffelman. I'm the product manager here with Engineered Corrosion Solutions. Uh, in this next set of videos, we are going to be talking about commissioning of the nitrogen generation system, maybe one of the most important factors of installing the system. So uh, first thing you want to do is verify that your inlet valve and your outlet valve on the nitrogen generator are both in the open position. This is before you even turn the power on. So once you've verified this, again, open position is parallel with the piping. Uh, you'll go ahead and turn the nitrogen generator on. Okay, so in these next couple of steps, I'm going to show you how to program the uh, digital pressure switch on the nitrogen generator. I want to talk about what each one of these numbers is on the screen before we program. So the big number on the pressure switch is actually the live pressure in the supply line. So right now, we have about 35 to 36 pounds in our nitrogen supply line. Um, the next two numbers are SP and RP. SP stands for set point. That is your cutout pressure of the generator. That is the pressure at which a generator is going to turn off. RP, uh, conversely, stands for reset point. That is your cut in or turn on pressure for the nitrogen generator. Um, and in the previous video, we decided that we were going to set the generator to turn on at 25 pounds and turn off at 70. So this is how you program that. First, you press and hold the right button on the pressure switch, and that will bring you to your set SP1 screen. You don't want to start with SP1, you actually want to set RP1 first. So we toggle down using the right button, and to change a set point, we press the center button. So our screen will start flashing if uh, we're in the mode to change the set point. So we'll change this down to 25 pounds, Once we're there, we press the center button again to lock it in. That returns us to the previous screen. So to toggle back up to SP1, we press the left button, press the center button to change it down to 70. Once we're at 70 pounds, press the center button to lock that setting in, and then we're good to go. Uh, to get back to the home screen, you can either wait for a 15 second time delay or you can press the left and right buttons at the same time and that will bring you back to the home screen. Now the next step will actually be to test the production of the nitrogen generator. Uh, and in order to do this, we need to open up the ball valve behind the flow meter in the generator. So we get a lot of questions about this device. What is this? Uh, this actually shows you what your nitrogen flow is. It's very important that these nitrogen generators produce enough nitrogen to spec uh, so that they are sized properly. So to test this, there's actually a ball valve behind the, flow, uh, the uh, flow meter that you can open and your nitrogen will start to come out. After you have that ball valve open, close your outlet valve. Once your outlet valve is closed, all the nitrogen then goes out the flow meter. So for this particular model, we're looking for about 425 standard cubic feet of nitrogen production. As you can see right now, we are quite a bit low. So how do we adjust that? This knob right here is what we call a flow control valve or a needle valve. This actually increases the nitrogen flow and uh, conversely, an increase in flow actually will lower nitrogen purity. So like I mentioned earlier, we're looking for 425 cubic feet of nitrogen. I'm going to go ahead and increase that by loosening on this knob. That's about the flow that we want to be at. So once you've got your flow where you think it should be, um, you can actually reference this quick start guide that's provided in every one of our nitrogen generators. It'll tell you how much nitrogen your particular model should be making. So once you have your flow set to where you think it should be, go ahead and let the generator run for approximately five to 10 minutes. Uh, let all the components get warm and uh, let uh, the nitrogen purity balance out. Uh, we'll revisit in just a moment. Okay, so we've let our system run for about five to 10 minutes. All the components are warm and we're good to uh, actually check the nitrogen purity next. So uh, system is still running. Uh, to get the nitrogen uh, analyzer up to par and ready to use, the first thing you need to do is calibrate it. So thread the, um, 
thread the adapter fitting off of the back of the unit first. Expose the rear of the unit to uh, fresh air. And press and hold this right button. This is the calibrate button. Cal shows up on the screen. Put some fresh air into the analyzer. And it automatically resets itself or recalibrates itself back to atmospheric concentration. So once that's done, reattach the adapter fitting, and you're ready to use the analyzer. Now it's very important to take a reading from the nitrogen generator. You have to have pressure on the supply line. If there's no pressure on the supply line, there's no way to get nitrogen to the analyzer. So in a quick demonstration, we can see we plug the analyzer into the sampling port with no pressure we will not obtain any nitrogen reading. So the way around that is to actually crack the flow meter valve until you get about 20 to 25 pounds of pressure on the supply line. As soon as you do that, you'll be able to obtain a nitrogen reading. You're looking for 98% nitrogen. If you don't have 98%, you can make fine adjustments here, again, with the flow control knob. So we're at about 98.1%. We're good to go. After you've verified your flow and your nitrogen purity, you can go ahead and close the flow meter, and the unit will turn off. Um, after you have verified your flow and your nitrogen purity, You'll actually want to go through and just do a double check on all the connections inside the generator and make sure you don't have any leaks. Uh, they are checked at ECS prior to shipment for leaks, so there should not be any, but it never hurts to check. Uh, once you verify that there's no leaks in the cabinet, you're ready to put it back into production. So um, to put it back into production, just make sure that your bypass valve is closed, your inlet valve is open, and open your outlet valve back up. And you're back in business. So that concludes the commissioning procedures for the PGen 50 standalone nitrogen generator. Um, I know this is a lot of information, so if you have any questions or would like further guidance with this, please feel free to contact us at 314-432-1377 or feel free to visit us online at ecscorrosion.com. Thank you. <music>